Hi, welcome to Studio Chat. I'm Linda Hill with the 411 on Dating. We're here to talk about love, life, the pursuit of happiness, and all those little ups and downs that happen in between. The show is sponsored by Alston Village Main Streets and Quick and Clean Car Wash in Waltham. With me today is a very special guest. His name is Al Cole. He has been a full-time radio broadcaster for the last 15 years, most of which has been with CBS Radio. Al now has his own syndicated radio talk show called It's All About Romance with Al Cole. It plays on a variety of stations and it also airs on hotmix106.com. Al's concept of romance is rather unique and it is central to his new book, it's Romance for Women and for All Mankind, and he's working on a CD, Captivation. I'd like to introduce him. Al, thank you for coming to the show. Linda, this is my pleasure. Which is why I wanted to have you on, because I think that they're really going to enjoy hearing what you have to say. And what I did, and I know that I shared these emails with you. Um, I got so many emails from people. Hey. They're watching you right now. There we go. Let's get into it here. So email, let's get to the first email. I've been dating a guy for a few months now and not sure where things stand. In the beginning, he was super attentive to me, would call all the time, always made time to see me, but now he doesn't call as often. And on the weekends, he always wants to spend his free time with his buddies playing baseball. We see each other on Saturday night, but that's it for the week. Any thoughts? Yeah. Yeah, a whole bunch of thoughts. I mean, that is, <laughs> that says it all. Most women, most women who I talk to, starting from when I was a radio disc jockey with CBS, into my It's All About Romance with Al Cole show, the biggest asked question is along that line. You know, it started off great. I was with a guy, we seemed to be, you know, well matched, and then all of a sudden, maybe two, three weeks later or something, I don't see the guy as much. And after that, then, you know, maybe he's criticizing me. Maybe there's a little bit of abuse that comes later. Honey, look, let, let me clue you in on something. This is not your fault, first and foremost. This is something that goes on with men. Now, we live in an imperfect world, so nothing is 100%. Like they say, it takes two to tango. So nothing is 100% anybody's fault. It takes two to tango. Women tango better than guys. Tango, a very romantic dance. Women do it better than guys. Guys are out there doing the, you know, the funny kind of disco thing where they don't really know how to dance. So it's 75% their fault. What you want to do, and I'm gonna put it to you in a way that probably you haven't heard before. I'm not gonna talk about, well, you, know, you go out to uh, the baseball games with, these guys, with this guy. Well, you share his life a little bit more, or he shares your life a little bit more. No, you know, I'm, I'm going to approach this from the point of view of, honey, get to know yourself better. That's the first thing. A relationship starts with you before it starts with any guy that walks through that door of yours. It starts with you even before it starts with a child, with your mother, your father, anybody else. This is an old axiom. You have to learn how to love yourself before you can love anybody else. When a guy is causing you problems, well, first of all, don't think it's your fault. Second of all, don't try to rectify it necessarily with that guy. Do something about you. Look in the mirror. Check yourself out. Do you love yourself? Is there something about you that maybe could be improved? Because that 25% that might be on you is something that you have to take very seriously. You've got to know yourself a little bit better. I advise women, and some women have done this, they look in the mirror, they can go into a trance looking at the beauty that's really within their eyes. Women are fascinating creatures, and they're full of all of these beautiful exotic hormones. They don't know where to go to release them. Well, your own spirit is the place to do that. And you can take yourself very, very seriously as a beautiful, wondrous human creation. If you just stop the action for a while, get out of the relationship, don't worry if this guy's not talking, hey, look, you're worth something. If this guy ain't you know, doing it with you, right, you don't have to see this guy. 
you check out the beauty within you. And then once you know who you are, once you are convinced that you're a woman worthy of respect, worthy of the love of a guy, I guarantee you, you're going to pick a guy who's going to respect you. You're going to pick a guy who's going to love you. You're going to pick a guy that you're not going to have all these problems with. You pick the guy. Don't let him pick you. You take your time. Sometimes it's better not to be in a relationship at all than to be in the wrong relationship. Take it from me. That's the best advice I can give that lady. I think that that was terrific, Al. Thank you. I think Bingo. you were, I think you were spot on.